Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're talking about collecting payments within a form on your website. So typically people have forms for contacting you, for taking a survey, or for asking customers or potential customers for some kind of information. For me, maybe it's website design, and I need to know what the name of your company is, your phone number, what you're looking for, etc. To take that further, I could say, hey, we charge a, I don't know, $500 fee to get started. Now, this doesn't have to be for just web designers. We can create a form for selling tacos, for selling pets, for selling anything that you're allowed to sell online, which could probably be almost everything. All right, so here we are at PressAvenue.com really quick. We post all of our tutorials here with additional links, snippets, or anything else that you may need that can't be posted to YouTube. Uh, over on the YouTube channel, again, same kind of videos, they match the site, but here they are as well. Please hit that red subscribe button if you find any of these to be helpful. The last thing I'll say is under playlists, we have a WP Forms tutorial um, playlist just for, so here we go right here, just for tutorials like these that are surrounded by one set of forms. So these are all the WP Forms tutorials. This will be number nine in the series. All right, so let's get started. If you don't know, WPForms.com, they make a really nice drag and drop. What you see is what you get forms builder. They say three million people use it, which I believe it because it's really easy to use. They have a picture here, a video of it and then some of the features. What we're talking about today is the um, Pro Plan, which gets you the PayPal add-on, which allows you to very quickly take or charge money on your form based on whatever it is you're selling. So the Basic doesn't have this, the Plus doesn't have this, it's the Pro and it's on sale right now. Uh, if you use the special link below, you can support this channel at no additional cost to you. Now, some people may cringe at this number, but honestly, after you sell a few items or run this for a month, you should be able to get this back and more, which will be a huge benefit to your business. So let's get started. All right, so here we are on my testing website. This is where I just test plugins so I can show you guys how to set them up and use them. And if anything breaks, it's not really a live site. So just to show you, I have just a vanilla WordPress install here. Um, people always ask, why does it say WP Engine? That's just my host at the top. So all I have installed is WP Forms. Um, these Elementor ones are for an upcoming video. If you want to see more on that, let me know below. But these are not active. They're just installed and sitting here. All right, so we're going to head over to WP Forms and we're going to create a payment form. So your forms will look different than the ones here. Again, these are from previous videos, but I'm going to click Add New and then we're going to name it, let's say Shop Form. Now they give you a couple options here. So I can do a blank form, contact form, request a quote, newsletter, billing or order form, donation, suggestion, etc. I'll actually show you the billing order form, which is a template that they include with WP Forms. So it says, hey, don't forget the payments tab, which we will cover in this. But this is the shop form template that they include. It's actually pretty good because it gives you everything you need without having to do anything. And I'll show you how to add some of these fields. So how they added the name here is they went on the left side, clicked name, there it is at the bottom, but I actually want it at the top. You drag it to the top, and there it is, the same exact thing. So these have been pre-populated to make this even easier for you guys, which I love. So I'll delete my double name. So name, first, last, that's fine. Email, phone, I typically leave as not required, um, but that's up to you. Do you want to be able to call people? Are you shipping? Are you delivering, etc.? You probably want their phone number. Address, um, this is up to you. Uh, if you need an address, um, if you're delivering, you definitely do need this. And then the next thing down is available items. So this is actually a pricing field amongst all these other things. So it's not just a multiple choice radio button. 
it's actually tied to prices. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so available items, so we'll say available food items. So we can say tacos, we can say beef jerky, it's expensive. Let's stay on the meat, let's say steak. So those are the three things there. Now keep in mind that the user does not see the price unless you fill it in in the description. So right now I'm just saying tacos, beef jerky, and steak, when instead I could say $10 tacos, what do we say, $20 for beef jerky, I'll get rid of the cents here, and then the steak we'll say is $50, and I can change this to 50. So this is the number that's being processed, so we have dollars and cents, and this just gives a user an idea of how much this costs. Now you can drag this order, put the most expensive on top, and then also you can pre-select so you could say choose a side so this could say available sides for your restaurant and they have to pick one so maybe all these cost the same so we say 10 10 so now i can't order this unless i choose one of these sides so maybe it's french fries etc salad Anyway, hopefully you get the point. So there's that. And then the total amount automatically gets added based on their selections. So that's available sides. Let's add a new field. We'll say single item. We're gonna drag it right above available sides. So I'm holding my mouse so you can see this. But I just click and hold and drag. So single item could be, you know, the entree. Entree special. And I will say this is $25. And then you can put a description here. Now this is a single item, but it gives us user defined, which doesn't make sense in this scenario because everyone's just gonna pay no money. So I say I want the entree special for zero. Or you can hide it. Um, what this does is it adds the $25 and then they just choose a side. So you can say order, maybe we're only making burgers for this day. Or if you're a food truck and you only make pies, well, one pie is $25, so we assume the $25, and then the side could be chocolate sauce, candy, or something, or delivery. Um, so that could go there, and that's why you would do it hidden. So I'll do the single item, required or not, you can show it there. And then, that's pretty much the gist of it. A comment or a message I usually put above the payment field. Um, so maybe that's deliver it around back, you know, deliver it at exactly at five, deliver it to my work, hit this code and you get in, etc. So that is the beginnings of the payment form. Now what we'll do is we'll hit save, but that's only really the first step. So we build the form, now we're gonna go to payments. Now we have two options, and today we're talking about PayPal. If you want to hear about Stripe, let me know in the comments below, and I'll show you a video on that. So right now it says install a payment integration. Instead of going back to the WordPress menu, going to plugins, going to add new, going to WP Forms and uploading it, I can simply click it and it says, do you want this? Yes, and activate. All right, so it gave me a little error, which I then refreshed. The error was that I already have it installed, but it's not actually activated. Um, so if I uninstall it and then reinstall it, it just shows it right here. All right, so now we're gonna select PayPal standard. This one always gets forgotten, even though it's right at the top, but it says enable PayPal standard payments. Next is to enter in your PayPal email address. So paypal at pressavenue.com. If you want, want to buy me a coffee, you can send it to this guy right here, and I'll do a shout out to you in the next video. Mode, production is live, so we're taking money. Test sandbox is, we're just testing this out to see how it goes. So I'll actually leave it on production. Next payment type, it's either products and services or donations. So if you're not a nonprofit taking donations, then it's a product or a service. 
Hopefully that makes sense. Cancel URL. So if they want to cancel this, you would put a URL in here. Typically I leave this blank because people typically know, hey, I'll just contact them via their phone number or contact form or email, or I put that information above or below the form within the web page, but not on the form itself. Hopefully that makes sense. Shipping, ask for an address, but don't require. It's totally up to you. It really depends on the product. I sell a digital course. I don't ask for the product or for the address because I don't need it. It makes zero sense for the product. So I'm going to say don't ask for an address. And then don't ask buyer to include a note with the payment. So if you remember, we had a comment form on the form itself. I actually always turn this off um, because people will leave notes in PayPal and then you might miss that because it's just another thing. So I keep it consolidated all into the WP forms form that we created. And then conditional logic is, you know, maybe they say I want to pay upon pickup, then they can choose not to pay now. All right, so I hit save and now we're going to embed this into a page. So we're done. So I'll hit X. We'll give it a minute to bring us back to WordPress. We'll go to pages, add new. And this just brings us straight into the block editor. And I'll say food, um, food truck pay pal demo. All right, so here I can write, you know, if you have any problems with this form, give me a call or fill out our contact info or just show up at this address. Um, but I'm going to go to add the form. Now it is in here, but some people have a hard time finding it. So if I go under widgets, there it is but I actually don't like doing that. Typically I just go to search block and I type WP and there it is. So I click it and there's the bear waving and now I select my form, so I want my shop form and it shows me a preview of the form we just built. So name, email, phone, address, comments, entree special, pick a side, total. So let's go ahead and publish this and I'll walk you through how it works. All right, so food truck demo. My name is John. My email is john at That's not really it. Uh, phone, you can put it in here. I do like that it has the brackets automatically. Address, I should have turned off. Come down here. I'm in Colorado. I'm putting some numbers. All right, comment our message, um, extra napkins because we're messy. So the entree special you see here, it's fixed. So it's 25 bucks. And if you see here, the total amount's 35 based on whatever side I choose plus the 25, which is great. Now we changed them all 10, but if this was 15, then it would add it up to 40. Next, I would hit submit. And now it takes this form and sends it to my email or whoever's email, your email, etc., And it's now sending me to PayPal for payment. So you'll get one form filled out and one PayPal receipt in your email box. So you can match those up. So here's P PayPal taking a while. Um, all right, so there it is there. So I can pay with a debit or credit card. And then I simply fill this form out. Now I'm not going to go fill this out now because A, I don't want you to see my payment info and B, I don't need to pay myself $35. I can just keep it in my own bank account. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about WP forms, please do let me know. We have a Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash press Avenue, where you can ask questions about this tutorial other tutorials or anything WordPress based. I'd love to help you out. Lastly, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button where you can see more tutorials just like this. And finally, I'd love a thumbs up and also comment below on what you think about this integration. If you use WP forms and if, if this has been helpful, thank you so much for watching.